For Vic Simpson, the deaths caused by the COVID-19 virus in the United States are not just some increasing number soon to pass the shocking total of 100,000 fatalities. It's personal. It affected our family very deeply, you know. Uh, they weren't able to have a service for him. And uh, that's the way, you know, we see that it's a lot of positive cases in the African-American community. And, uh, and it disturbs me when I go into some of these places now and I don't see none of our youth taking it seriously, wearing masks or gloves, and it's affecting our people more than anybody else. Taking the virus seriously was exactly what Simpson was doing Friday morning. He sat in his car in a row of vehicles awaiting word from a Huntington police officer to drive down the street towards the 16th Street Baptist Church. My wife will be here tomorrow. I know we're testing tomorrow, so they'll be here tomorrow to uh, get tested. So we just uh, taking turns. While the virus has frightened everyone and turned the whole world upside down, Pastor Dr. James Red Jr. of the 16th Street Baptist Church wants everyone to know they should not be afraid of the COVID-19 testing being offered in front of his church, which may involve either a nasal swab or an oral swab. Now, I know that some may be skeptical. Does the test hurt? Does it bother you? No, it doesn't. I was the first one to take a test. The only thing it does, it gives you a little burn once they get back far enough, but once it burns, they're done. The whole testing process takes about 20 seconds. The stakes could not be higher, said the pastor. One member of his congregation has a relative in Ohio whose entire family came down with the virus. While others recovered, the father of the Ohio family died, he said. We know that it's imminent when it touches somebody that you know. And um, it was heartbreaking to me because uh, no one person is more important than anybody else. But any life that we lose is a tragedy. And that means following CDC and local health department guidelines to the letter, said Red. Wear our masks, maintain social distancing of six feet or more, use hand sanitizers, don't touch our eyes, nose, or face. This is not something that we should take as a joke. And because the person around you doesn't want to wear a mask, don't be like that person. Try to instruct them, hey, this is why I'm wearing a mask. I'm not wearing a mask because I have anything. I'm wearing a mask to protect you just in case I do have it and I'm asymptomatic. And in protecting you, I would expect for you to protect somebody else. Bishop Pastor Charles Shaw of Huntington's Real Life Christian Center Church is president of the Huntington Black Pastors Ministerial Association. He was tested Friday morning and planned to bring his wife to be tested later. Additional testing in minority communities may help towards figuring out why COVID-19 strikes these communities harder, he said. It's it's very interesting that uh, once the, uh, in the African American community or the minority community at large, people of color, it seems to have a more devastating effect once uh, they do have uh, the virus. So that's curious. I think there's some more things to be found out about that, why that happens like that. And I, of course, I understand that some of it is because of pre existing conditions, but I'm not convinced that that's all of the reason. He explained why he and his family members were taking the test. We're, we have not been affected and don't want to be affected, so we're going to get tested. And, and I'm encouraging all my congregants and all of our community people, just come and get tested.